Tonight, a potential strike looming at a plant in Waterville. Leaders at Johns Manville have been in negotiations with representatives from the union since March. Many workers say they have had enough. Amy Staggerwall live in studio tonight to break down what it led up to this point. Amy. Well, that's right, Andrew. I spoke with leaders from the local 20 and officials from Johns Manville. They tell me workers are voting right now on the company's last, best and final offer. That vote expires on Friday at 12.01 a.m. Now, right now, workers at Johns Manville in Waterville are actually working under an expired agreement, which had a deadline of April 18th. Back in April, both sides agreed to continue working while engaging in negotiations. In the meantime, workers voted down three different offers Johns Manville proposed. This past Saturday, both parties agreed to extend the termination to this Friday at 12.01 a.m. At that time, voting will stop and workers could declare a strike. Now, I got my hands on a letter Johns Manville employees tell me they received. Take a look. It's right on your screen. It details what workers can do if a strike is declared. Officials at Johns Manville say there are about 570 employees between the two plants. About 480 of those employees are unionized. Now, in a statement that's on your screen right now, Johns Manville officials tell me they are hoping the agreement is ratified, but if not, they have a plan in place to ensure production can continue. Now, right now, leaders are not revealing the specifics of what employees are upset about, but say rising health care costs continue to be a concern. As that Friday deadline draws closer, we'll continue to keep our eye out for developments on this story. Live in studio tonight, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11.